and welcome to our lesson on constructing angle bisectors. So to construct an angle bisector, you will need a pair of compasses and a ruler. To begin with, I'm going to construct an arc from the intersection of where the two lines form the angle. And this will give me two points along each of the lines that are the same distance from where they meet. I'm now going to create another arc of equal length from point A and from point B and you will see that the two arcs intersect. So I'll open up the compasses and I will draw an arc, move the compasses to point B and draw another arc and you can see the two arcs intersect and now I'm going to draw a line from the angle through the two intersecting arcs. Now I'm going to use the protractor to show that I've created two 30 degree angles by bisecting the 60 degrees. And you can see by bisecting the angles, I have split the 60 degree in half to create two 30 degree angles. Okay, do you want to try and bisect the 130 degree angle? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So if you remember, the first thing we're going to do is draw an arc between the two lines. And now I'm going to label where the arc crosses the two lines with A and B. And next I'm going to create two arcs, one from A and one from B. And again, you will see that they should intersect. And finally, I draw my line from the angle through the two intersecting arcs. And you can see we have bisected this 130 degree angle into two 65 degree angles. Let's try my final question. We're going to construct an angle bisector of each angle in this triangle. And then we will see when they intersect. Do you want to pause the video to try it yourself and resume it when you're ready? Okay, I'm going to bisect this angle by drawing the arc. And then another arc, I can draw the line from the angle through the two arcs. I'll do the same again from this angle. And here's the red line through the two intersecting arcs. And you can see the blue line and the red line will intersect. We'll do the final angle. final line. They don't quite intersect at the same place because we have to be very precise. And if you are accurate enough you will be able to construct a perfectly inscribed circle within the triangle but you can see mine isn't quite right. Good luck with that. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and take care.